recommendations in the review was a, a re-evaluation, if you like, of, of funding and then particularly how the funding filters down from the Premier League to, to the Football League. But particularly, is there any support in this for designated for grassroots football as part of this? Obviously, a part of the game that's been struggling in recent years. Is there going to be a focus on, on ensuring that, that that part of football, which is vital for so many people, is, is kept alive? So what we want to do is ensure that uh, there is financial sustainability through uh, the football pyramid. And what we also want to ensure is that that is determined uh, by the football authorities themselves. You know, not for government to say how this should all be regulated. So uh, we're giving them an opportunity to come to an arrangement amongst themselves that they are all happy with. Uh, about how that money thro- flows through the system. And, you know, I've spoken to uh, the EFL and the Premier League, and I'm really hopeful that they will come to some resolution. But I should say that, um, you know, grassroots football is really important to the government. Uh, we have uh, recently announced over £200 million for grassroots football. We want to ensure that there are pitches so that young people can come out and play the sport that we all love. And another one of the recommendations um, from from the review was that the women's game, which is obviously a rapidly growing part of the sport, um, is treated with parity as as it should be. And given a dedicated review, are there plans for that review of women's football as per the recommendations? Yes, we already um, kicked off the women's review. It's a really important part of the game. I was really pleased to uh, meet with Jill Scott recently. You know, what a role model the Lionesses are for young uh, female players. Uh, so, yeah, look, we, we announced the white paper today, um, it, focusing as it does uh, on the issues that it does. But uh, women's football is really important to us in government and to me as a female member of the cabinet. Of course. And, and just one final question. Obviously, very sad today that, that John Motson has, has passed away, A77, the voice of football for, for many, many people in, in this country uh, of a certain generation. What, what are your thoughts on, on this very sad news on, on a, a big day for football, but potentially for the wrong reasons as well? Yes, as you say, you know, he was uh, a significant voice in football, you know, dedicated so many years uh, to that, and my thoughts are with him, his family today. Uh, and just a question, not really for the video, do you, do you support a team at all? So or? my son is possibly the biggest Chelsea fan, and I'm supporting him as a <laughs> That's player. unfortunate, really. It's a real <laughs> shame. It must be quite hard to support I him at the moment in everyone, that. I know not everyone will treat that with excitement. <laughs> no problem. Thank you very Thank much for you. your time.